breath. What do you need to say? It's, it's what? Welcome back. Oh. Welcome back. We love hey. you. Thank you. I got I got this on vacation. It's I I did. I got I got it on vacation in in, in Los Angeles. I I went just to get away for a week. Uh. I the Lakers. <laughs> That's and I I didn't heckle the Lakers. I I went and uh, I should though. <laughs> I don't know anything about sports, I'm lying, I'm sorry. But I got away for a week and I got a chance to meet a mad shoe throwing genius by the name of John Gilkey. You might know him from Cirque du Soleil. And I got to sit in on a workshop. I didn't take part in the workshop, I'll be honest. I was so, I was so afraid. I was terrified how intense this was. How they wanted you to be so, so very real so very open and so very emotionally naked that I just sat back and just, I tried not to cry watching. I was so deeply moved. There was an exercise they did where they put a few performers on stage. They just sort of got up there and, and, and they, they, they just sort of found each other and started talking. They were given a key phrase and it was an absurd phrase and the goal was just to, just to get there, just to get to this, this sentence, no matter how absurd it was, just, just get there. And whenever they got stuck, if they were faking it, John would throw a shoe at them, <laughs> which made them be very real. And if they tried to escape by, he would demand that they say no and, and go out to the audience and connect and be real and be open. It's okay, you can answer it if you want to. It was Siri, I'm sorry. Siri? Yes. I'm, I'm, I was talking. Apparently she I thought you were her. talking to her. So she, she won't do it, if we can, we can, do you want to talk to Siri? No, no, no. Okay. I could talk to Siri, we could all talk to Siri. <laughs> oh, that would happen, <laughs> that would happen. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> we can do that. I forgot, oh, scared. Really freaked out by this idea of being open and shoe throwing. And I mean, re just really just shoe, hurl, which brings you into the moment like you wouldn't believe. So if you didn't run away screaming and you got stuck or you were right in the middle of it, you were right there, right like this, right there, they would, they would ask the question. It's different people would ask it. In the audience, John asked it. What is it you need to say? So here's, here's the thing I figured out. Uh, this, uh, this stage, if I'm up there telling you a story, well, that's not theater, that's literature. But if I'm up there and I'm feeling and I'm experiencing and I'm talking, now, right now, that's theater. And you can be as scared as I am with me, just like I was for other performers. And you cheer for them and you, you, hope, you hope they get through it or, or have a moment and hope something beautiful happens. And it always does. So you, you look at the stage and you think, what is it you need to say? Tonight, we're going to see performers who have all sorts of things to say. They're going to they're gonna sing things and shout things and say things. Some of them aren't going to be pretty. Some of them already haven't been. Sorry. You're adorable. I am adorable. <laughs> Scared and adorable. Hi. How are you? He's taking my picture. But <laughs> sorry. it's easy to be fake. It's easy to get caught up in it and be fake, the theater and all of this stuff. <laughs> you say that? I meant me. You're doing good. Sure, sure. You're very get good. I'll, I'll, I'll go back up there and be adorable. But you get back up on the stage and you ask yourself, well, what do you need to say as a, as a performer, as a character, which is what that's really about. Sure, I'm me. I'm me. <laughs> what, do you, what do you have to say? What is it you need to say? 
I love that when I asked that question in this room, people just jumped in and had things to say. And I know, I know what I have to say. I, I actually know, because I thought about it ahead of time. I'm sorry I rehearsed. Hope that doesn't take me out of the moment. But when I put this on and I say it, everything starts. This moment that's great because it's very connected. But when I put this on and I say it, everything starts. And we could get caught up in it. You guys could get mean. You guys could get drunk and mean. You might throw something. Someone might throw a shoe. But I have to say it because if I don't, it might not happen. And this mad thing we've built together, this mad and beautiful thing wouldn't happen if I don't say it. So I know what I need to say. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the open stage. Thank you.